How can we show that this limit exists as n approaches infinity without calculating its actual limit? So I have no idea how to calculate. So first of all, it's easy for us to see that this sequence has to increase, right? definitely increasing. The reason is because the a n plus 1 is equal to square root of 1 plus square root of 2 plus all the way square root of n plus square root of n plus 1. Right, that's the only difference is that here this is the extra part. Right? So because inside here n plus square root of n plus 1 definitely bigger than just this part. No, uh, definitely bigger than n, right? So before we take square root, right? Right now we see the square root, so we take the square root right, bigger than square root of n, right? This part is this part. Square root of n is this part, right? Already bigger than that. And the remaining is the same, right? Pre previous pieces, everything else is the same. All right, so definitely increasing. And next we prove that the sequence is bounded above, bounded above by two, right? no matter how large n is. Right, first of all, I say, okay, a n, let's write in detail. More detail. 1 plus square root of 2 plus square root of n minus 1 plus n. Uh, this time I look at n minus 1 plus square root of n. I say this is, is this less than or equal to n minus 1 plus 2 times square root of n minus 1 then plus 1. Because that's actually a perfect square, right? Uh, that's square root of n minus 1, then take the square, right? 1 is 1 square, 2 times square root of n minus 1, right? Perfect square. Square root of n minus 1 plus 1, whole square. If I can show that, then I can show that square root of n minus 1 plus square root of n less than or equal to square, uh, square root of this is just square root of n minus 1 plus 1. I can lose in the inequality. But to show that this is true, uh, this is true. All I need to show is because, first of all, n minus 1, n minus 1, they are all the same. So, all I need to show square root of n less than or equal to this plus 1. Right? But all I need to show is that. square root of n is less than 2 times square root of n minus 1. If this is true, then this is definitely true, right? This is already bigger than that one. Right? This is already smaller than that one. Of course, it will be even be smaller than this one. So is this, so is this true? Square both sides. In other words, is so move this n to this side. So 3n less bigger than or equal to minus 4. Move to this bigger than 4. Of course, it's true when n is big enough. Bigger than or equal to 2. Right? Then, then it must be true. So 
really, when n is big enough, really. Really, it's true. So this result is true. Now, I've, through manufacturing a perfect square, I've proven that as long as n is big enough, bigger than or equal to 2, then I have the following inequality. Right? This is bounded above by this. So losing this inequality a little bit. So I'm, I'm just going to re so write down this sequence in more details. 1 plus square root of 2 plus more details. Square root of, let's see, uh, n minus 1 plus square root of n. Okay, so that is less than or equal to square root of 1 plus square root of 2 plus all the way. Like I said, this bit now is no larger than this bit, right? So replace that, this with that. Right, so bef So before this bit, prior to this bit, what do I have? I have another square root on, under which I have, uh, this is reduced by one. So n minus two, right? this is the piece that's uh, before this this piece All right, so again so this right used to be uh, plus this piece now this piece now can be uh, replaced by that right uh, enlarged or loosened so this square root of n minus one plus one So it used to be this, now that. Right? So again, so I'm looking at this, this piece, right? this square root. Again, following the same logic, right? same pattern. Can we find some pattern? Uh, so specifically, can we show that, again, can we show that somehow I want to manufacture a perfect square again? So can I show n minus 2 plus square root of n minus 1 plus 1? Is this less than or equal to, copy this down, replace this with 2 times square root of n minus 2, copy down this. And so this is what, this is perfect square, right? Square root of n minus 2, then square, this is one square. So uh, all together, square root of n minus 2 plus 1, right? If this is true, then automatically, automatically, uh, we take the square root n minus 2 plus square root of n minus 1 plus 1 less than or equal to square root of this is just square root of n minus 2 plus 1. Right. Finally, I want to show this. But to prove this inequality holds, all I need to show is that because n minus 2, they're the same. 1, they're the same. All I need to show is that this is less than or equal to that, right? N 2 times square root of n minus 2, right? Is this true? In other words, square both sides, right? Because both sides are uh, positive as n is big enough. Is this true? Right? 4 times n minus 2, right? So is this true? Like four n and move to this side. Three n. Uh, this minus eight minus eight to the other side plus eight plus eight minus one plus seven. Uh, is three n bigger than equal to seven? When n is big enough, of course. As long as n is bigger than equal to three. 
right? So this is true. This is true. This is true. Then this is true. Then of course this is true. Right? Finally, we have this. So I can further loosen the inequality, right? Let's now equal to square root of one plus square root of two plus. Like I said, this time, this square root now is less than or equal to this piece, right? Right, but before this square root, I have something else. I have n minus 3, right? Then I plus this square root, now loosened to be this. The square root of n minus 2 plus 1. Right? Loosened to this. So looks like there's a pattern. Right? If I keep doing this, right? if I keep doing this, You see, every time, every time I lose an inequality, I somehow reduce number of terms. I I used to have uh, used to have how many terms? One, two, one, two, n terms in here, right? In other words, n n square roots. Right? By losing the inequality, now here, how many uh, terms? Do I, uh, how many roots do I have? n minus 1 roots, I believe. Right? Losing the inequality again, I have n minus 2 roots. If I keep, keep doing this, keep losing the inequality, right? hopefully in the end I can uh, get rid of all the roots. Right? Hopefully. So it looks like the pattern is you see as long as n is bigger than or equal to 3, I have this. Right? Then use this. I, I've proven this is true, right? This is true, this is true. So the pattern looks like as long as n is bigger than or equal to, you see, if this is k, this is k plus 1, this is k plus 2. So as long as n is bigger than or equal to k plus 2. Can I have square root of n minus k? So it's not equal to 2 times square root of n minus k plus 1. Because right? if that's true, I can really keep doing this, right? Keep uh, keep doing, keep doing, doing to this one, right? I can show this is uh, so manufacturing a perfect square, right? This is less than or equal to two times square root of n minus three. Right? So the next time I do uh, two times square root of n minus four, two times square root of n minus five. So, right? so every time I just increase the, this number, right? But is this true? Right? So is this true? Right, they both must be positive, it must be, obviously, because n is bigger than k plus 2. So 4 times n minus k plus 1. Right? So is this true? Is, so n moved to so 3n. What do I have to here? It's 4, 4 times k plus 4k. 4 times 4, time, 4k plus to the this side. 3k. Plus four. Right, four k plus four, three k. Yes, three k plus four to this side. So rearranging uh, the inequalities uh, is three n bigger than or equal to three k plus four. Right. Since I say when n is bigger than or equal to k plus two. Right. So what happens now? 
What happens? What happens is that three n is bigger than or equal to three k plus six. Right, this is definitely true. Right, this follow following my assumption. Right, since this is true, then is this true? Right, bigger than three, bigger than equal to three, three k plus four. Of course. Right, this is obvious, obviously true. Three k plus six bigger than three k plus four. Right, so this is automatically true. Right, true, true. So that, that way I can just keep. I don't even need mathematical induction. It looks like. So keep loosening the inequality. Every time I loosen it, I just, uh, like I said, I just manufacture a, a perfect square. Get rid of that. Get rid of. Uh, so cancel out. Square, square root, cancel out with square every time. So. One one term less, one term less, right? One root less, one root less. Every so, in the end, in the end, I believe two plus. According to this logic, I have. Uh, you see, n minus three plus square root of n minus. Minus two, so this is actually uh, one unit smaller than that. If this is two, then that must be three. Square root of three plus one. Right, but then I can lose an inequality again. Right. Square root of three is less than according to this pattern, right? Every time it's less than equal to two times. So two times square root of this is one unit smaller than that. So two then plus one. Right? So this is equal to one plus Perfect square again, square root of two, right? Square root. perfect, perfect. Square root of two plus one square, then square root. So uh, square root of two plus one. Right? So this is again no larger than square root of two is no larger than two. Plus one, so 